we have to find out the value of x if given to us x minus 7 into x minus 3 into x plus 5 into x plus 1 equals to 1680. Now how to solve this problem? For that what we will do? We will rearrange these two second and third terms whatever we have and we will write it as x minus 7 multiply that with x plus 5 then x minus 3 multiply with x plus 1 equals to 1680. Now what is the logic behind switching here? If you multiply them what we are going to get let us see this is x square minus 2x minus 35 and this is x square minus 2x minus 3. Now the idea behind switching them is that I can take x square minus 2x which is same in both of them into another variable z. So it will become z minus 35 into z minus 3 equals to 1680. We can write it as z square minus 38 z plus 105 equals to 1680 r we can say that z square minus 38 z minus 1575 equals to 0. Now we have to factorize this and substitute back again z as x square minus 2x. z square minus 38 z minus 1575 equals to 0. Now 1575 we have to split into two groups such that the sum equals to minus 38. So let us write down the prime factorization of this. We have 5, 5, 25, 7, 3, 3. So we will take whole this thing is one group and another group so that we have 63 minus 25 is 38. I can write down z square minus 63 z plus 25 z minus 1575 equals to 0. Now we can simplify that and we can say z into z minus 63 plus 25 into z minus 63 equals to 0. That will give us z minus 63 into z plus 25 equals to 0 that will give us either z minus 63 equals to 0 or z plus 25 equals to 0. But what is our z? z is x square minus 2x. So, we will have x square minus 2x minus 63 equals to 0 or x square minus 2x plus 25 equals to 0. Now we have to solve these two equations and get our solution. x square minus 2x minus 63 equals to 0. We can split the middle term. We can write down minus 2 as minus 9x and plus 7x. So that we can factorize it. We will write down x square minus 9x plus 7x minus 63 equals to 0. We can take x common x into x minus 9 plus 7 into x minus 9 equals to 0 or we have x minus 9 into x plus 7 equals to 0 which will give us x equals to 9 or x equals to minus 7. Let us go to the other side. Here we cannot split the middle term. So, we will use quadratic formula to solve this find out the value of x. So, our x is given by minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, x equals to minus b that is 2 plus r minus b square that is 4 minus 4ac that is minus 100 divided by 2. This is equals to 2 plus r minus 96 minus 1 minus 96 is 96 i square divided by 2 which is equals to 2 plus or minus we can take it as 4 root 6 i divided by 2 
r which is nothing but equals to 1 plus or minus 2 root 6 i. So, the other values of x what we can get is 1 is 1 plus 2 root 6 of i and another is 1 minus 2 root 6 into i.